thing not many people may know is that when we do a burnout in a top fuel car, we, um, we don't actually use all of the throttle opening. Uh, this is because it would provide too much fuel and too much engine RPM. It would over rev in the burnout. So we use a portion of it, which is exactly that. The throttle cable butts up against the mechanical stop, which limits the opening. We, we do have to measure this to ensure we get the right amount of engine RPM on the burnout. And doing this, we actually zero uh, a digital protractor off the idle setting of the butterflies, and then we'll get the driver to put it onto the burnout stop and we'll measure around 10 and a half to 12 degrees of throttle opening. On this particular injector hat, that's what we do. It may be different depending on the manufacturer, but being that it's a radius approach, we find it more accurate to use a digital protractor. On the burnout, we shoot for between uh, 5,900 all the way up to 6,600. Some people even go higher than that. It, it, it all varies based on, on what you're trying to achieve. Again, the length of the burnout does vary, uh, and that's a preference of the team, crew chief, driving style um, for different reasons. Uh, we prefer to do roughly a second and a half. I know Damien and, and in my brother's car, they're roughly two seconds to three seconds. So, and that's just, uh, that's just a guesstimate there, but it can vary. So once the driver comes back from completing the burnout procedure, the, the gentleman on our team on the right hand side of the engine will remove the throttle stop, and that way the car's ready to go at full throttle. If we miss this step, it's extremely critical, we will not get those big header flames that you see when they stand on the throttle. <laughs>